Morning, you beautiful people. How are you guys doing? I've come out with a few videos recently, sort of quicker succession than to the past few weeks, mainly because I've just come back from a holiday. I'll tell you about that later on in the video, but I thought I would use today's video to make a few announcements. Wait, I'm gonna put the camera down, just because it's really hot and this camera's quite heavy. Where could I put this camera? Right, right, right. Little tripod thing, are you gonna work for me? This work? No. Hmm. Magnificent. Lovely. I'll talk to you guys about my holiday, why I was completely off social media, and all that jazz later. What we're gonna do today is clean the Lotus, which is in the garage, which I can dramatically open in the background right now. Now, three, two, one. Damn it. Anywho, yes, it's under the cover in there. We're going to be cleaning that because I'm going to be leaving for a little while. So as I said, I've got a bunch of announcements. First announcement is I'm going to be going on a little trip. So I figured I wanted to clean the Lotus, put it back under the cover, disconnect the battery, have everything sort of all nice and prepped with it for when I come back from my trip. I'm going to the UK. I'm really excited. I'm going to be going to Goodwood Revival. So if you guys are around in the UK, something like that, I often get asked because I know there's a big audience in the UK. High percentage of my viewers live in the UK, so you guys often ask if we could do like a meetup or something. I'm not sure if I'll do a full-blown meetup, but I'll definitely be at Revival, so you guys can come and please like, I would love to chat with you, hear your ideas for new videos and all this stuff. So if you're going to Revival, there's a really loud dog around here. If you're going to Revival, give me a shout, send me an Instagram, Snapchat, anything like that. All the social media stuff is down below, and then we can meet up uh, at Revival. Exciting I think a bunch, maybe some of the other YouTubers will be there as well, so it could be a fun little union for us all. Main announcement of the day, which is the most important one, and I'm really, really excited to tell you. I actually can't show you yet, which I'm disappointed about, but I just wanted to tell you guys as soon as I could, basically, tell you the news that my watches, which we've been talking about, and you guys have been asking about for quite a while now, they are now ready. I am so excited. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna put the designs up. There are three different designs. There's this one, this one, and this one. And those, ta-da, are the three watches. Yeah! I am so excited about this, and I'm so happy with the designs. All three of these watches were designed by you guys. I'm gonna put the usernames here, here, and here. Those are the three people who designed these watches. So the original plan was to have two um, watch designs submitted by you guys, and then I would design one myself. But I actually love these three so much. I was like, sod it, like, let's just do these three, and then we'll find different ways to um, adapt and have our own personal touch with the straps and things like that but i'm so excited for you guys to be able to now get these i have some on the way so i'll be able to show you in the vlog what they actually look like when i'm wearing them but i just want to tell you straight away so i will be having some and wearing them in the videos you will see soon but i just wanted to tell you as soon as i could where can you buy them you can buy them this link right here there might be a you maybe can click on it if not down in the description below there'll be the link and you can click on that and they're already available they'll get shipped to your place and you can use this code right here to get a discount and that discount is only going to be going until the end of this month i believe so you can go and Get that now and you'll be able to get a massive discount on the watches, which is always good. We like discounts, don't we? Now the watches are actually really cool because you can personalize them yourselves. So you get the sort of original design, but then you can choose out of rubber, nylon, and leather straps and like 15 different colors you can have them in. So you guys can properly personalize them everywhere. And then another exciting part is if you get a watch, either post uh, an order confirmation thing on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, anywhere, or post a photo when it arrives of you wearing it, use this hashtag and I will like or comment or do something to your photo. I'll be on my phone constantly checking that hashtag to try and communicate with you guys and we can have a little chat. So if you've got them coming, put that hashtag and we'll be able to communicate with each other. But you'll be seeing lots more about these on social media and I'll be showing them in other videos and stuff. So rather than just banging on about that for the whole time, I thought we should get started with the whole cleaning of the Lotus process where yeah, I'm so, so grateful also to you guys for allowing me to do things. I've always loved watches and it's something I've always wanted to do and now the fact that you guys have given me the opportunity to design my own watches and sell them and it be sort of a viable idea is, um, is yeah, it's amazing. So thank you so much for that. These watches are as much mine as they are yours and I can't wait for us to all, you know, wear them and have them and it's actually a tangible thing that we've created together so I'm, I'm really excited and thank you of course to the people who submitted their designs all the designs were amazing and we had over 200 designs um, obviously we had to narrow it down to three so there were some really really good ones that I'm disappointed we can't make but who knows maybe we'll do another competition and then release a new line soon 
<laughs> Lotus, let's get her out of her cover, shall we? Whilst I was away, I disconnected the battery of the car and put it under a cover. I mean, it's absolutely filthy inside and out. So I'm really excited to give it a proper clean and get this all ready. Also, as you guys would have seen from past videos, I am thinking of selling this car now. So if anyone's interested in buying it, social media is the place to do it or comment or do anything. I'll be reading loads of stuff. This car is for sale so you guys can potentially have this very car with or without the gumball wrap or exhaust or whatever you want. So I am now officially selling this car and I'll update you sooner or well, as soon as I have an idea myself on what the replacement would be but I, I don't really know yet. So I'm planning on just selling this car and then getting sort of the cash out of that to be able to then start shopping around and doing more serious research. I'd actually disconnected the um, the battery on this car. It has this optional battery disconnect thingy here. And so when you leave on a trip, it's a good idea to do that so you don't come back to a flat battery. So because I'd left for a little while, I had done that. Now let's hope it starts all nicely on the first go. I've just parked the car up and here's the plan for cleaning it. I want to do a full, full clean. So I'm not going to do the outside yet just because sun is still beaming really hot. So I'm just going to start with the inside of the car and then I'm going to move on to the in uh, outside. Cleaned it a bunch, but I really want this to be like the perfect clean, like a full detail. Um, the inside needs some cleaning. There's stuff all over the place, so I'm going to properly do that. I'm just running it now to get all the fluids going through, just because I haven't really um, driven the car for a couple of weeks. So I figured it might as well get that done. Um, and then, yeah, and then afterwards, when the sun's gone down a bit, it's time to do the outside. But first of all, for the inside, I mean, I don't know if you can see there's loads of fingerprints on the windows and stuff like that, and just everything feels slightly dusty and there's just crumbs. And it's just worth having a proper, proper clean. Hmm, I've not done well here with the filming. I got a call just as I started cleaning the inside of the car. So I put the phone on speaker and basically cleaned the whole car. By the time I was done with the call, there was nothing really left to film. So I can just show you now what I've done. The sun has gone down, which means I'm going to wait for tomorrow to continue the cleaning and do the whole outside. I haven't cleaned the outside of the car yet. I know you can't really tell it's that dirty, but you can see on spots like Oh god, you can't really see it on camera. Anyways, it is it is pretty filthy. Do you like my cushions, by the way? These are what we got at a petrol station on Gumbel. It says, I love you in German. Um, anywho, we, yeah, the sun's gone down, so this is going to be a two-day vlog. I'm going to continue this tomorrow, but the interior is now completely done. There's still stuff on the seats that I removed, but I've completely cleaned the whole inside of the car. It might not look like there's a huge difference. As you can tell, the vacuum has been out in force and I have vacuumed everything so it is now all clean down there all the seats are properly clean under the seats I even vacuumed in the boot the whole boot has been vacuumed so yes that is the inside done I put the roof back on because I'm gonna put it back in the garage now and then tomorrow I'm gonna do the outside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click my fingers in that time I'm gonna have some sleep and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow we are literally in exactly the same place. I've just changed my clothes slightly and the car is back where it was. So it's as if nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is I've had food and asleep. I realized, because um, I started editing this video already this morning, that I have been chatting a lot and talking a bunch. So I'm gonna stop talking too much because I've done plenty of that and I'm just gonna clean the car and then show you the clean car at the end. I've done it again. I forgot to film cleaning the car properly. Well, actually, to be fair, I didn't forget. It was just, it didn't seem like it would be that interesting. It was me walking around a car with a hose, effectively, cleaning the car and then sort of, um, what do you call that stuff? Wha not waxing. Ru Anyways, you, you, get, you get the idea. I was cleaning my car. Wasn't that interesting? I was going to put the drone up, which is right there. But then I figured I didn't want to annoy my neighbors. But the car, you probably can't tell because it doesn't come off on camera. And this color or well, this wrap always looks pretty clean. It's now completely clean. This is proof that I have actually cleaned my car, the puddle of dirty water around it. Guys, we're back inside now then, and I just wanted to sign off this video and say I know it was a lot of chitter-chatter, 
but mainly I just want to use this video to be a the watch launch for YouTube so you guys can have seen that from YouTube and also basically just a general life update I need to <coughs> wow so many emotions a lot of chitter chatter but I'll be back with sort of more actiony videos obviously going to I'm flying out when you're seeing this video is in a couple of hours and I'm flying out tomorrow morning so Friday morning at 10 o'clock I'm flying out and I am going to London and then I don't know exactly what the full plan is I know I'm just going to be at Revival on Saturday and Sunday so I'm really excited to be there and hopefully I'll see some of you guys but yeah there we go that's for the life update and watch launch I hope you guys really like the watches and remember to post all the photos with them if you order one and when you get it and I'm excited to see those thanks for watching as per usual please remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon bye okay. so I'm gonna get the drone out before someone tells us to sit off